Drivers will now have to yield to bicyclists heading in both directions. The King Street bike lane officially open for two-way traffic today. KITV4's Ashley Moser explains what this means for bicyclists and drivers. No sooner did the arrows appear on the pavement than a stream of EVA-bound riders started zipping along the King Street bike lane this morning. I go from Manoa to Bishop Square. Bobby Evans yeah. bikes to work every day. He says this is a game changer. It uh, makes my commute so much safer and um, like so much more calm. Before the protected bike lane, he trekked to work alongside cars, making his commute a stressful one. Now he says it's a smooth ride. I don't like have to compete with traffic or ride super fast to feel like I'm like not blocking other people. So in the end, it's just so much less stress for me. City crews installed 13 new traffic lights at intersections from Alapai to Eisenberg facing the opposite direction. The lights are synced with traffic signals, so when drivers get the green, so do bicyclists. But there is concern for those behind the wheel, watching for riders coming from both ways. Officials say the tricky part is driving next to bicyclists heading in your same direction. They say it's actually easier to see a biker heading towards you. But for bicyclists that are now going counter to the traffic, you see them coming. So we think it'll be a safe two-way street. Since the pilot project began in December, there has been a 70% increase in bicyclists on King Street. Officials say the success could lead to another bike lane around the city. If it's implemented, they say it would be without these asphalt berms between the lane and on-street parking. That saves money, but it also, you know, for drivers, when you're getting out of your car on the left-hand side, that berm is hard to, you know, where do you put your foot? So we're going to be looking at other things, too. Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. The city will also be removing 11 on-street parking stalls along the bike lane after the public complained that it was just hard to see pulling out of driveways along King Street. The total cost of this project is between $525 and $575,000.